I don't mind letting it out, you know, if it's a small amount of product, but I don't like to have to blend more because I use too much, if that makes sense. So yeah, I just went in with a really little bit of that just to give it like a more of a highlight. And yep, I'm just blending it, blending it, blending it out. And so I just keep blend, 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 blending, blending, blending until I feel like it's all blended well. Like, as I've gotten older, um, I have developed a large... 
even with the um, hair glue, eyelash glue, it doesn't matter. Um, liquid eyeliner, my eyes get irritated by all of that. So that's the reason y'all saw me put the regular pencil eyeliner on first. And then I just did the corners of my eyes with the liquid. So what happens to my eyes whenever I um, put on any kind of glue? The only glue that doesn't irritate my eyes as much because it still does if I, I can't wear eyelashes every day like I used to if I did um the only one that I could use that doesn't irritate it as much as I think is my LA Colors eyelash glue um so what happens to my eyes is that my eyes will literally as soon as I put on any type of liquid eyeliner or like the hair glue and I've been using the hair glue on my eyes since I was 17 again maybe that's why i have my problems now i don't know um but why oh, i need glasses now um but anyways what happens is i will put the you know the stuff on my eyes and then my eyes will start itching burning i will have to take a cetirazine or a benadryl for it to stop itching and burning if i want to keep it on and even when i take it off even let's say it's on there for only five minutes it doesn't matter as soon as it makes contact even if i wash it off my eyes will itch and burn and peel they will start to peel and be raw for like the next four days it's, it's so crazy it's crazy that just started happening like i want to say like three years ago um it, it's the craziest thing so yeah i don't wear liquid eyeliner on my eyes anymore um and I, I don't really wear eyelashes like that anymore. I used to have the unique mascara, you know, where it's like the eyelash extensions, where it has like the fiber. I used to use that, but that comes off. Like, what am I trying to say? The fibers, after a while, like when you're wearing it, the fibers will start falling on your face. And you got like all these little black fibers on your face. It's like, I'm trying to think of something else. You know that I would like to use um anyways anyways <laughs> yeah uh so I am using this now now when I do use this glue I use as little as possible I'm talking about the thinnest of the thin lines I'm talking if I don't put this on in the next 10 seconds it's already gonna be dry because it's so little glue like, I use the least amount of glue as possible when I'm doing my eyelashes, especially if I don't have the glue that doesn't um, irritate my eyes as much, and I didn't have that glue, I ran out of it. So here, I pulled out my mirror um, to try to fix my eyelashes. I was frustrated <laughs> because um, it's these daggone nails, and it's crazy it's now that I don't wear eyelashes every day, because I used to be able to, I used to have nails three times longer than this and i used to be able to just pop these eyelashes on <laughs> i'm mad <laughs> but now um that i don't do them every day especially when i come on with nails it takes me longer it still doesn't take me long but it takes longer you know so yeah i'm just um putting the glue i said this this is my take two and i put them on there they were fine but <sighs> Y'all, I don't know what was going on with my makeup this day. I just did not like it overall. So I put the daggone lash on. And one of the lashes are closer to my inner eye than it is on the other one. So one of the lashes are drooping more than the other. So what I did was took some thumbnail, thumbnail, that's what I did that for. <laughs> but I took some eyeliner and I just made a line going outside you know like kind of like a little cat eye only on one side of my eye to match so that it can kind of like mask and match the other eyelash so they so it wouldn't look droopy on one side uh, yeah i don't know i just was not loving my makeup this day it was okay but you know what what i can say is that after i put my makeup on it still did make me feel better like i wasn't feeling like i still was feeling like shit but not like shit shit you know so um now that is the lack um lip 
lipstick in Heavenly. It's called Heavenly. I got that from the beauty supply store. Oh, and that lip gloss. I love that lip gloss. I forgot to put what the lip gloss is called in here, but uh, I use that lip gloss and this other lip gloss that I have. I love it. I didn't really like the lip um, color, but and I, I didn't care what I was trying to do with my hair. I was just trying to make a look, but y'all. Anyways, <laughs> girl, I was just doing anything. I was doing anything at this point. <laughs> I'm just about to do some highlight. I don't normally even do highlights all the time anymore either. It just depends on if I remember how I feel. But yeah, guys, this kind of helped to bring me out of my funk a little bit. Like, you don't always have to look how you feel. And whew, I'm really trying to get into that habit because child, when something is bothering me, a lot of times it will show by me just not wanting to do stuff for myself or take care of myself sometimes. So, yes, when I actually just get up and do stuff like this even though I still might you know not feel the best I feel better than what I did before I did my makeup so I really hope y'all enjoyed this video